this is another um, similarity uh, problem involving right triangles. So the last video we talked about how like this nine divided by this altitude is equal to this altitude divided by this one. Now there are other shortcuts, but they're, they're really hard to memorize. The easiest way to do it is to picture this as three triangles. So let's call this medium triangle, the red one, and let's call that tiny, 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 tiny triangle, the blue one. And let's try to separate like what piece belongs to what and see if we can build a proportion to solve for X and then another different proportion to solve for Y. So if you look at the blue triangle, well, let's try to reorient it. Let's try to draw the blue triangle the way the big triangle is. because So that's the third triangle. The third triangle is, let's call this the black triangle, but it's just the one that's just already drawn. So the original black triangle, its hypotenuse, which is split by the altitude, is 10, because that's 9 plus 1 is 10. Its short side is X, and its long leg, its long leg, we call these the legs, is Y. So X is the short leg. Y is the long leg, the hypotenuse, which is across the right triangle, is 10. Now let's try to draw the blue one, but I'm going to try to orient it the same way. So you see how one is the short side of the short of the little triangle? So I'm going to draw the one like that, and then it's right angle down here, it's long leg right here, and it's hypotenuse right here. Well, not everything is given, but I do see that the short leg of the little triangle is given. And then this X right here, is actually, see how it's across from that little right angle? That means X is the hypotenuse, but the hypotenuse of the little triangle. And then already I see I can have a proportion to solve for X. But before I jump to that proportion, let me, let me go ahead and draw the red triangle. Now in the red triangle, this is obviously the short piece right here, that altitude, but there's not any measurement given. Bummer. Well then, let's, let's look at least what the other pieces are. Now be careful. It might look like there's a right angle right there, but it's not. Like that angle's like sort of like split off. The right angle of the red triangle is really right here. And so the hypotenuse of the red triangle is Y. And then this nine is the long leg of the red triangle. And that's gonna give me a proportion to solve for the for the Y. So let's look at X. So short over short is equal to hypotenuse over hypotenuse. So this is the proportion I can draw. X over one, X over one, short over short, is equal to 10 over X, which is hypotenuse over hypotenuse. That means I can cross multiply, so I get X squared equals 10. So if I try to solve for X by squaring both sides, X is equal to the square root of 10, now, that's the exact answer. If I try to actually put that in a calculator, it'll give me this really crazy decimal. So in a radical form, X is simply just square root of 10. You can't reduce that radically. You could, you would, but you can't. Now, let's look at the one for Y. The value for Y, so we're going to use the red triangle because that has a Y in it. And notice how the, the big black triangle, again, has a Y in it, too. But instead of doing, like in the X, we did short over short equals is equals hypotenuse over hypotenuse. For the Y, we're going to do, um, you could do 9 over Y equals Y over 10. So you could do 9 over Y, 9 over Y equals Y over 10. And that one's like doing long leg over long leg equals hypotenuse over hypotenuse. That's not the only way you have to do it. You could do this any way you want. You could do... You could do 10 over y, 10 over y equals y over 9. But notice how those are actually the same proportion. Notice how no matter what, when you cross multiply, you'll be getting 90. When you cross multiply this y, you'll be getting y squared, 90, y squared. Let's do it a different way. Let's do y over this 9 equals this 10 over this y. So that's just this proportion upside down or this proportion backwards. But all of them are the same one. They're all the same proportion. So don't feel like you have to do it a certain way. And you can go either side, 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 like that, like hop from one triangle to another, or you can go within the triangle, it's hypotenuse, it's long, and then the other triangle, it's hypotenuse, it's long. But here's what you get. I'm gonna scroll up here. So here you get y squared is equal to 90. That means y is equal to square root of 90. Now, writing 90 is like one option, and then like square root of 90, uh, so writing square root of 90, 
and actually doing the math is sure that's great. But let's look at what would happen if we just, um, and by the way, we got that by square root of both sides. But to, to get undo a y squared, you know, to get a y square root. But the idea is instead of doing that, I could, I could reduce this radical two ways. Let me turn it back into the 9 times 10 that it was. So leave the 90 as 9 times 10. And it's like, oh, wait, I can reduce that radical. Y is equal to that square root of 9. That is actually a perfect square. Square root of 10 is nothing special. It's just a really weird decimal. But if you take square root of 9 and put in your calculator, you get 3. And then so this square root of 90 is really 3 times the square root. So that's your answer. Another way you could have reduced the radical, say you multiplied and got 90. Another way you can reduce the radical is you could factor it down. This is 9 times 10. 9 is 3 times 3. And 10 is 2 times 5. And when you simplify a radical, since it's square root of 90, which is the same thing as 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, it's like when you're reducing a radical, you just kind of pull out twins. Okay, I see there's twin 2s. So that makes it outside of the radical. So a 3 makes it out. The 2 and the 5 don't have any twins, so they get stuck inside. You know, they're just stuck inside. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, so even then it's still 3 squared to 10. So that's how you work that out.